Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Blender Builder channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make VFX tornadoes in Blender. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Alright, so once you open up a new Blender file, you can just press A, delete everything. Then you go to Add, Mesh, Circle, and I'll go to the X viewport. Go into Edit Mode, select all, and press E to extrude, press Z to extrude on the Z axis. So now what you need to do is you need to make a tornado-like shape. So it should be smaller at the bottom, go in at the middle, and at the top it should be bigger than the bottom. So you guys can just follow along as I go through. You want to select the bottom of your mesh, click up here to turn up a portion of editing, press S, and use your mouse wheel to scroll the, the size of the portion of editing. Once you get to the center, I recommend moving it around a little bit because you know a tornado it doesn't stick to still. You have to make it look like it turns a lot. So what I like to do is down a little bit. And so when I extrude up, I go to the left a little bit or the right a little bit. And then you can switch the viewports, different sides. You can extrude again. You can rotate. Just do whatever you can. Just don't make it look too like don't do too much. Just make it like slight adjustments. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so once you're down to the last part, what you want to do is you kind of just want to straighten it up as much as possible. It might be a little slanted, but it doesn't really matter. And so from here, you just continue what you had going on the other side. Which extrude on the z-axis, scale, extrude, scale, extrude, scale. Through. This is the last one. You can make it big. What the hell? From here, I don't know what I did, but for some reason, the bottom is way bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just flip this like this and move it up. Alright, so right now I'm just making a couple of adjustments. I think the bottom might have been a little too big. Alright, from here, you can go back into object mode and shade smooth. And so now you have the base of your tornado. And so this, this doesn't look cool. So what you want to do is you want to duplicate this. And now you want to scale it on the X and Y axis. And so to do that, what you need to do is you press S, Shift Z. And so what that does is it excludes scaling on the z-axis, you only scale sideways. And now what you want to do is you want to make a VFX out of this. If you've never made VFX before, you can check out the video in the top right corner, shameless plug, I know. All you want to do is you want to go into tab, select all, subdivide at least once so we can get some more detail. Now go into vertex, add a vertex group, assign, go back to object mode, go to the modifiers tab, Add modifier, vertex weight edit. Vertex group is group, fall off, it's custom curve. And then switch the sides. After you switch the sides, add influence, new mass texture. Go here, change just the clouds. That gives it the look we're going for. Add a mask modifier. Select the vertex group. Go to about like three, four, add a smooth modifier, or 30, simple deform, keep it on twist, change it on the z-axis, go to 360. And so now we have the twist look that we're going for. So right now, the twist doesn't look how we want it to in the end, but once we're at the end, I can show you guys how we're gonna make it, get that tornado look. And so now, all we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna just want to edit this a little bit and duplicate it and so we can have different colors and we can have more spots filled in all right so from here i'm gonna take the threshold up a little bit since there's gonna be so many duplicates of this i'm also gonna add some color just so i can tell the difference between these so before you go over to the materials tab go to the viewport shading just so you can see the color it's new and go down here to admission take it up all the way and take it to some shade of blue and change the emission color to 10 and what i actually like to do is i change the base color 
instead of to blue, I change it to red. And so it gives us kind of like weird, it, it gives us like a different kind of look. If you look over here at the preview, you can see how it's like changing kind of. So now, duplicate. And rotate on the Z axis. And either scale up a little bit or scale down a little bit. I'm gonna scale up a little bit. Change the threshold, be a little smaller. I'm gonna make this one just plain black. I'm gonna make this one small just because it's so dark. And so you guys gonna see, I'm just tweaking around with things a little bit. Also, I'm gonna add some color to the tornado itself. Um, I'll just make this some sort of blue. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna duplicate all of this. So select all of it and shift D and just move it over against Y axis. And so now the reason we do this is because something goes wrong over here, we can go back to that, we can reset from there. So what we're gonna wanna do is select every single one of these and just apply all of the modifiers. Alright, so now once you apply all the modifiers, select all of them and press Ctrl J, which joins them all together. So now add a modifier and add the simple default modifier. So now, it looks kinda weird. That's only because it's not on the Z axis. Put on the Z axis, and put in angle 720. And so what this does, it gives it the twist effect that you're looking for. So now there's a few things I kinda wanna tweak, like in the mid right here, it looks a little weird. Okay, we can just um, up it even more. So we can go to like 18, 20. Yeah, there we go, that's more like it. So, this is like the twist we're looking for. Uh, I'm gonna change some of the colors just for looks. All right, so once you like the colors that you got, you can just click on this and you can apply the modifier. And so now from here, we're gonna add some small details. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a particle, which is gonna be like a water droplet. So what you need to do is you need to add mesh, UV sphere, move this over to the side. Then you gotta scale this down quite a bit scale down to about here. So once you have it scaled down, go into edit mode and vertices are like, make sure you turn off wireframe and select the top vertice like that. Now change the proportional editing file off to sharp and press viewport and press G to move it up. Make sure you um, make the circle smaller so you can get that detail and just make it look kind of like a water droplet. All right, so now once you have your shape, your um, water droplet shape, you want to go over here to render properties and I already turned it on right here but you got to turn on screen space reflections and then once you go down here turn on refraction as well. So now go back to the materials, add a new material, let's go all the way down and turn on transmission. All right, so once you turn on refractions you need to scroll down here, settings, and turn on screen space refraction. And this will make it actually reflexive. And so now scroll back up and change the roughness down. Just change it down to zero. And now we have a uh, water or like a glass like material. So what you want to do is just change the color of it a little bit. Uh, make it a, like a light blue. Now we're going to make a particle effect using this object. But uh, what you need to do is you need to click on the object. You need to go over to this option right here, the particle properties. You need to add a new and change it to hair. So now this looks crazy because we still haven't done anything yet. So what you need to scroll down and you need to change render. Render as path, change that to object, and then go to instance and select this with the eyedropper tool. So now you can see there's a bunch of little dots. These are all the water droplets. If they're set, we have to do some tweaking. So we can just change this number down to like 100 maybe. And we can go down here to children and turn on simple. 
So what this will do is every single one of these will have a child. Ten children. It sounds kind of weird when you say it like that, but it's basically just like multiplying. So if there's a hundred up here and there's ten down here, there's a thousand little particles. So we can change this down actually a little bit lower, maybe like 50. And let's go back down here. What you want to do is increase the radius so that they go out further. So now you can see a bunch of them just flying out. And they're not very evenly dispersed. So what we can do is we can change the seed to get a different random option. So just keep changing the seed until you find one that you like. This one right here is good for me. And you can tweak around a little bit more with the size and like the randomness. So I'm gonna change the size, make it a little bit bigger maybe, and make it more random. So that means the sizes, none of them are gonna be the same. And so now I'm gonna do a little more fine tuning. You can go back to here and go to the modifiers. And you can leave these black lines, but just know that they're gonna be gone in the render. And in my opinion, most of the time it ends up looking better when you remove them. So to remove them, all you need to do, you need to click on this, I'm going to add modifier, click solidify, and change it to complex. So now you can see there's a bunch of like weird things sticking out. I don't know what's going on. But what you want to do is you want to change this thickness just down to zero. Alright, so I much, made a bunch more tweaks. And so this is the last thing I'm going to do before I think I finish. I make sure you add blue. It makes things look nice. so much better. It makes them pop. Um, you can add a little bit of detail, you can change the color, uh, make it a little more blue. But bloom, really, it really just carries it. Alright guys, that's all for the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. Uh, if you want, check out my Twitter in the description. I post a lot of things kind of like this, but that's all for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much.